if you haven't seen the video, you should see it. But yeah, it's lots of feet and whipped cream. So okay. <laughs> the Mercedes Benz Interview Lounge. Addison Ray, welcome yeah. to the show. Yeah. So many people. There's a bell ringing. <laughs> so many people are excited. That Addison Ray is going to be on the show today. So here you are. Yay! Let's talk Hi. about everything. <laughs> Let's talk about, well, last night you were on the uh, Video Music Awards. Yeah. So are you and Charlie XCX? What about it? <laughs> well, okay, I know that you popped out on stage with her at a, one of her concerts mm-hmm. in Los Angeles. Yeah. Are you going to, are you going to like go on the road together? What is this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> um. Well, there's no plans to yet, but. Right. You know, if yeah, I'm lucky. I love her, so <laughs> anything she wants. I'll do, for the most part. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know. I saw the Diet Pepsi uh, video. We'll talk about that in a moment. <laughs> How fun putting a, a video like that together. We'll get into that in a minute. Yeah. Because a lot of people who are lactose intolerant would not understand. Yeah, I, I don't think I can handle that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can do dairy-free matter. ice cream. Okay, okay. We're setting this up for a conversation in a moment. <laughs> so, you know, f- what, what, maybe five years ago, or maybe more, you tell me when you really were hitting the the streaming scene. I mean, you were you were the TikToking and and that was about five years ago. It was like four. four? Yeah, okay. like four. And in now, like 20, the end of 2019. But now it's Addison Ray in music, okay? And Diet Pepsi is getting a lot of attention, your new song and video, and we're going to play that in a minute. Yay. So did you have a five and ten year plan? Did you start out TikToking and thinking in five years I want this to turn into music or it did just it just evolved on its own I think since I was little I grew up dancing so I grew up um, competitive dancing but I started dancing just regular when I was six years old and I think from my youth I always knew like I wanted to perform and like create and then it was like the natural evolution from dance to music to acting because it's kind of all you know in a similar world really like dancing can be acting and also you're you know listening to music so much and so mm-hmm. I always had a love and a passion for music and dancing and and um kind of just like transforming in front of people and just entertainment in general um so when I started TikTok I didn't actually think I didn't think anything was really real at first it was kind of confusing because I was living in Louisiana and I was like oh like what does this even mean like this many likes it just doesn't even feel real you know and so I was kind of like oh okay and then I remember randomly people started recognizing me and being like, hi, I saw you on TikTok. And I was like, oh, this might be like real. Like this might be a real life thing. And then it kind of just, you know, progressed from there. And I was like, well, maybe this is a real opportunity to try and do these things that I've always dreamt of and loved. And the second that I got in the space where I could try it, I was like, why not just try it all? There you, know? you go. I mean... I mean, it's safe to say you're one of the pioneers of what you do on TikTok. <laughs> well, thank you. I, you I, look, I mean, you're only 23 three years old. <laughs> so about 100 million followers on TikTok, about 40 oh, wow. million on Instagram. Oh, wow. That's right? It? That's oh. it. That's all. Sorry. <laughs> but, That's but, all? So how do you maneuver? I mean, because a lot of people are still there, and they want to do other things, but they're not doing other things. You are, right. though. Okay. You're into music now. Like, my advice for that? Yeah, maybe I mean, maybe like um I think if you're interested in something it's always nice to try and explore it but I think people do you know have a passion for just creating content like very freely as themselves I think for me though it was always it was always going to be creating things in music in acting and you know just creating s- things and as long as I could do that in a way where I feel like I'm telling a story I was always going to try and do that I'm also assuming you you it's the people you meet. It's all it's on the in the contacts. I mean, you moved to Los Angeles, mm-hmm. right? And that's where the music business kind of rolls. Right. And then you meet this person, you meet that person, next thing you know, you're hopping out on stage with Charlie XCX <laughs> and you're presenting at the VMAs. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, how does that work? How do, how is it with the connections you make with people? How is it moving you forward? I mean, that's I'm assuming that's how it, it's happened for you. It's happened for a lot of people. Yeah, I think it's just inspiring, honestly. I think being around someone like Charlie, who's been around for so long and has continuously followed her heart with who she is and the music and everything, it's, it's really inspiring, I think, to just watch that and see her do it so fearlessly. And then for me, it was just seeing that it was possible and, and then really leaning into that and, and just not being afraid to chase those dreams. And I think... You know, a lot of people will be afraid and and feel like maybe they're not good enough or they're scared to mess it up. And I feel like I've gotten to a point where I'm just like, okay, that's just a part of the journey, you know, and it's worth it to me to 
to go in there and be scared sometimes. And being fearless is a frightening thing. <laughs> yeah, you know, no, it, it, it is. Really is. I yeah. always say there's a thin line between excitement and fear. Right. But at some point, do you wake up the morning and go, you know what? F it. You know what? It, it's. I'm not. I don't care. I'm, yeah. just, I'm gonna. I'm gonna try. I mean, totally. And, and if I fail, I fail. <laughs> yeah. And if I don't, then we learn. Yeah. You know. I think I it's know. a really nice place to get to in life when you're just kind of like. I'm going to do what makes me happy and that's it, you know? <laughs> I feel like there is so much to take in when you approach this business from the way that you did. Mm -hmm. You're just a normal person in Louisiana and all of a sudden, boom, you blow up. And now you're dealing with like the politics aspect of who do you work with? Or is this person friends with this person? Do I need a PR person? Is that person legit? How do you even navigate that? I think it's a lot of trial and error. A lot of trial and error, just trusting your instincts and trying to you know, navigate it on your own and with experience. But I think you kind of learn as you go along. I mean, every business is like this, you know. I feel like every business you really have to try and surround yourself with people that are like-minded and then you kind of know when they're not and then you steer away, <laughs> steer clear of those people. But, yeah, it's a lot of trial and error. I feel like, I, you know, I'm not afraid to continue making mistakes or errors as long as I'm learning from it and then changing and growing from that. So I feel like it's just a part of it. Do you call your celebrity friends for like advice? So like <laughs> the Kardashians, who I know you and I've seen you on the show. Do you like call up Courtney and be like, listen, this is what they want me to do. What are your thoughts? I, I feel like I've definitely been in that position, even with like Charlie. She's been so helpful with music and stuff and just advice on that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I have uh, even with movies. I mean, it's it's you know it's very smart to lean on people that are experienced and know what they're doing so I always try and do that I think if you if you can ask somebody a question about something that you're confused about you know why not we've heard many artists who have been around for a long time Katy Perry included and, and other artists of that ilk they still call other artists and yeah. ask questions because you know what just because you're successful at something doesn't mean you know everything totally and sometimes you have to rethink how you're doing it you know but you're in the music business now and there's no harmful people in the music business. Yeah, and, and also, you know, I actually, joke, right? no, I actually don't think there's any wrong. There's no, there's no wrong or right way to be successful in the entertainment industry. I think there's so many um, different paths and journeys to success and to um, making it to where you want to go. And I think I've learned that very well because, you know, a lot of people will say, you know, you can't start doing music. You can't start acting because you started on, on social media. Like that's where you should stay. And it's like, there's no right or wrong way to get where I wanna go. And I think it's been very obvious and I think people forget that there's just so many different journeys to dreams coming true that it's it's okay if it doesn't look the same you know no no, no. I, actually yeah. it's it, it's exciting if it doesn't look the same right right you know? and it also opens the doors for the door for other people i know to, to know that it's possible and i think yeah. yeah at the end of the day that's really important to me because i really like to be an example of growth and and kind of you know someone that people can look at and be really excited to to open up the world and see the opportunities that there are. The, the only rights and wrongs in the entertainment business is how it affects you. Right. How you, right. How, how you handle how, it. And how, how you feel about yourself. Yeah. Because sometimes, it, sometimes the entertainment business is just, it's not real. You know? Right. I mean, the numbers are there, the business is there, but how people treat you, you, you don't always know who you can trust. It, no, but, it's true. It's very true. But never let go of yourself because you, I mean, look, she's from Louisiana. I know. <laughs> I'm from the South. We're all very good people. Yeah. I mean, I like to believe everybody has good in them, which I feel like is mostly a good starting point, you know, assuming that people are, are good people. And then, um, yeah, usually uh, navigating that after you get proven wrong sometimes. But, <laughs> but yeah. From the South, so. Well, yeah, we're from the South. That's, we always use that. If anyone questions our morals, no, we're from the South. Yeah. Hey, let's talk about Diet Pepsi. Uh, this this new single, it's out now. It's all everywhere. And uh, the video, the video, it's all done in black and white. It's very racy. It's a racy video. Okay. Did, did anyone in your extreme close-knit circle go, oh, my God, Addison Ray, what are you doing? Because it it is. It is racy. I mean, yeah. you're, you're feeding whipped cream to a a guy with your feet. Right. <laughs> <laughs> My gosh. Only yeah. fans page. Yep. Here we come. Oh, no, dream. only feet. Only feet. Only feet. <laughs> oh. Only feet. Yeah. Only feet. 
<laughs> no, but no, but, it, but it, it, it tells a story, and mm-hmm. it's it's it, this is where the acting comes in, right? right? I mean, if you haven't seen the video, you should see it. But yes, yeah, lots of feet and whipped cream, so okay. <laughs> <laughs> and a hot guy in a convertible. Yeah, I mean, God, right. it sounds like a weekend. <laughs> There's so many questions about this video. Okay, well, then ask questions. Yes, okay. please. How much say did you have in picking the guy because he is incredibly hot? Who is that? <laughs> His name is Drew Van Acker, and he's an incredible actor. And thank God he was so down to just play and and be fun and not be afraid to get messy, obviously. But, yeah, he's incredible, and I did have a lot of say on that. We were really particular on choosing that. I think we wanted someone that was really, like, timeless and handsome and and also was was going to be down to, you know, yep. experiment because it definitely was a wild shoot day. Okay, second question. Okay. I have a thing with shoes. Okay. There's a part where you have your shoes all over his face. Were the shoes new shoes or were those walked in and then all over his face? <laughs> they were probably walked in, but Ugh. I will say we had like wipes. So we were like really cleaning. <laughs> oh like, my even, by the wipes way, are important. Right. Even with my feet, like it was really important to have like, you know, sanitizing wipes. Yeah. Like, we, I just didn't want anybody to feel like. This is disgusting. Well, and it, must, it must have been sticky. Like, it was sticky. That was a thing. That was a main reason yeah. why we had the wipes because it was really sticky and obviously it was full of ice cream. So it was just, you know. Have, did you not want to eat ice cream again and stuff like that again for a while after? No, that I video? love ice cream. So of I, yeah, it's, right. It's that's right why there, we included it. Right there in the video. This poor right. guy's never gonna eat it again. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but okay, Aww. so this is no. your. This is, I guess, safe to say your day. De- your debut video. With yeah, your music, I, okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I had a, I had my first video um, with my first single, Obsessed. But this okay. is definitely the first time I was, like, really, really involved creatively. Or felt right. even, I guess, the confidence to be really involved. Right. So. I mean, it's it's a real deal video. This is a high, high production quality. It's beautifully shot. An everything. incredible director. So, uh, but as a as a young a young woman, and it is, it is a racy video. Mm-hmm. It's very sexy and all of that. Um... Were you very careful to like keep an eye on where it was going and how how racy it was getting? Was the, where, there was definitely a line that you had to draw sometimes to go, no, that's too much. You know, I actually, did, I don't know. I don't think I felt that way, weirdly. Okay. I think I think growing up in dance and, and growing up, I've just always been really like in tune with myself and my body. And, and, and I feel like there's a you know a good balance of it all and I think it was like pretty quirky and and weird so it wasn't too like in your face um we were really inspired by like the 50s and 60s and I think even with the dancing and the moves and it was like very much leaning into that like aggressive and fearless and wild dancing and so I didn't really even look at it like that but I I could see why people would look at it that way um but I think it was a lot of it, we really tried to find the balance of just like playfulness and like fun and and freedom that maybe like would encourage people to let go and, and, you know, not feel so serious about things. I think there's even some silly parts in it where I'm like making crazy faces, you know, but it's like a little bit more leaning towards like, who cares what, what faces you make as long as you're having a good time. And that was kind of like the through line. But, but yeah, I see that. There's more to it than the video. There's the song, Diet Pepsi. Right. So, well, the song, it, the storytelling is what? You're, you're, what story are you telling with this song? I mean, it was an experience in my life, and is it autobiographical? <laughs> yeah, <Okay. it's> autobiographical. <laughs> no, but um, yeah. I mean, I think we tried to. When I was writing the song, myself and the two girls that I was writing this with, and um, which is another thing, it's female written and produced, so that was really special and really cool for us because it's really rare to have only female producers on a song. Um, but when, whenever I was in the room with them and I was writing it, I was kind of like, I want it to feel like you can interpret it in the way you want. And it wasn't too um, straightforward, even though it kind of was, but it was still kind of up for interpretation. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't really want to talk about the, the full meanings in my experience, but maybe yours? <laughs> Maybe you can relate. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you can relate. I, I guess I could eat ice cream off my own foot while driving a convertible. <laughs> on my own video. We'll see oh, who does better. Right. <laughs> no. You talk about like loving to express yourself and telling a story. So when you put out an album and it's all kinds of songs, if that's what you're going to do, are you going to have it tell a whole story? Yeah, that's what I want. I think that's the main goal. I think for me, um, when that comes, like I really just visually, I'm such a visual artist. I love Um, painting a picture and and getting people to feel like they're involved in the world of it all and so that's a really really important part to me and I think you know stories don't always have to be perfectly one after the other it can be a story that 
that tells things in a different order. I think someone like Tarantino always did that really well. You know, you wouldn't really know where you were in this story until the end. So it's kind of nice to have that going, that theme of like, you don't really know where it's going to go technically, but maybe at the end, the full picture makes sense, you know? Are you loving living in Los Angeles? Yeah, yeah. I do. I love the beach, so. The beach is right there. Yeah. You can drive your car. Yep, I love driving. Go out with your girlfriends, mm-hmm. have dinners, yeah. just do your thing. What a life. You know? <laughs> I'm lucky. I'm well, I know, but going back to the very beginning of our conversation, the five to the ten year plan, you know, part of your plan evolving from online mm-hmm. and TikTok and everything else into music and acting, I'm hearing that's that's definitely in the plan. Yeah. But just being a young woman, living your life, mm-hmm. learning Sometimes failing and learning from the failures, yep, maybe. I don't always. know. Always. But out there just living with friends and having a good time. Palm trees, mm. an ocean. Ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I miss it. It's cold here. <laughs> Are you going to get a call from Briars? So like, hey, could you be our new official ice cream? I would cream? love to get an ice cream call. That would be amazing. Okay, I'll, we can set that up for you. <laughs> so, so when you, I guess my, I was getting to this point where coming from the West Coast to the East Coast to hang out here in dirty gritty new york city what <laughs> no is, i what, love it here yeah well, okay well what is it you love about a city i mean it's a, it's the polar opposite of your yeah, home it's, it's definitely really different i mean it's also different i think coming from louisiana la is so different and then coming to new york that's so different from both of those but i don't know there's something really alive about new york that i really enjoy and i like the the going out life i like the party party life here it's it's really like alive and people want to go out all night you know mm-hmm. and, and dance all night and i feel like la is a little bit different people are like Right now, really into like health and wellness, which is really nice to Ew, have gross. in like every day. <laughs> but here. like, you know, I have my like workout routine there. I'm like, okay, I wake up, I go to my boot camp, I run, like very like a schedule there. And I feel like here it's a little bit more spontaneous. So it's always fun to like mix it up. So you can just, it's a slippery slope to hell here in New York. <laughs> right. <laughs> and that's why we love it. Okay. So more music on the way. Is, are there any set dates, plans, songs being written or is it? Um, Yes, <laughs> yeah, I'm working. I'm working. I'm in the studio um, and just writing every day. I don't have anything to share yet, Okay, but I will eventually. All right. Well, uh, Addison Ray, thank you so much for coming in. Especially, well, thank you. I'm sure you were out late last night at the VMAs. <laughs> yeah, crazy night, you know. But, but <laughs> Definitely okay. just needed food immediately after. You're doing okay. <laughs> uh, let's play it. This is Diet Pepsi. Addison Ray, thanks for Yay! coming in today. Thanks so much. The Mercedes-Benz Interview Lounge.